What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and uh, as you can see, my voice is coming back, it's not 100% back, uh, and now I'm going to start coughing, and <laughs> it's coming back, um, so whoever stole it has, has kindly returned at least 70% of it, um, happy Easter to everybody, I am in my car because I'm actually driving to my apartment to go and record some videos, I feel like I have just enough energy to get it done, um, a lot of people on Twitter and, and everywhere are like all confused, like are you stopping this, or are you not doing Bioshock anymore, or what's going on? And guys, like, the only reason I haven't been recording videos or posting is because I, uh, I've been, been sick. I'm not, like, boycotting YouTube or, or trying to take some purposeful break or anything. Like, I don't, I don't know how some people do it. You know, a lot of people on Twitter are like, oh, ghost, you get sick all the time. And I mean, I do, but I, I don't at the same time. Like, I haven't been this sick since, I think, last August or September. Last September? September, September, September. Um, and I used to get sick all the time. And, like, I, I don't I can't comprehend how these people who, like, you know, because you guys know, I eat super healthy, I try, I like, to do everything as clean as possible, I try to get good sleep, I, I, people who, like, chow on McDonald's and never sleep, and, like, expose themselves to all sorts of germs, and then don't ever get sick, I don't know how you do it, I don't know how, but, uh, I was born with the body I was born with, which is one that, like, I, I, I don't just get sick because I'm, I'm weak, I get sick because I literally was born missing two of the key immunoglobins for my immune system, um, and battled that for a very long time, I was really sick when I was a baby, um, both me and my mom almost died when I was born, and then, uh, luckily, obviously, I got much stronger and healthier as I grew, and then we switched over our entire, uh, eating and nutrition to all organic, no wheat, no sugar, no dairy, and then things improved tremendously to where I only get sick like this, you know, two, three times a year max, which is, might be a lot for some people, but for me, it's, like, amazing. Uh, I used to get sick, like, gosh, even my freshman year of high school, I missed over 70 days, um, but when I was really young, I was sick, like, every other week, all Christmas break, I was sick, just, it was just bad, and then the changing of the seasons is usually when it hits me the worst, so this sort of springtime as everything is like, you know, unfreezing, I think, is, is making it why this has popped up, but also PAX is trying to analyze, like, why did I get sick, because I felt good at PAX every day, even on the plane back from Boston, I felt good, and then it wasn't until, like, I got home from Boston, and there's a major snowstorm in Indiana, um, and so my car ride was like five hours long, and I literally was going 20 or 30 mile an hour on the highway, um, just following the tracks of trucks, because no plows had been through, um, no salt trucks, and it was so snowy, I could only go like 20 or 30 on a 70 mile an hour highway, um, and I was like literally like slapping my face to stay awake, Jake had fallen asleep, and I started feeling really not good, because we didn't get home until like 5 a.m., um, and so I don't know if it was a mixture of, of like I had germs from PAX, and then they just got unleashed by the, uh, the unfortunate staying up till 5 a.m., my, my, my body just can't handle that, like, I know, like, a lot of people stay up all night, and they're like, oh, that's so great, I start feeling really gross by, like, one or two, and, and that's just something that I'm, I'm born with and have to deal with, I guess, um, I don't really complain too much about it, um, and then I was trying to figure out, like, what else, because I, I, I used, like, hand sanitizer at PAX, and I didn't really, like, shake many people's hands, um, and I was like, maybe it was because I had been listening to a lot of Lil Wayne, his new album, and he's so ugly and dirty, maybe it infected my my body, and I should, like, switch music and go to, like, the polar opposite, what would that be, like, listen to some, like, sweet and cute Selena Gomez music or something like that to try to cleanse my system, I've been doing everything I can, I've been taking naps, I hate taking naps, I have since I was a baby, um, I've been taking so much stupid natural medicine and, and, you know, gargling hot salt water and drinking hot tea with honey and blah, blah, everything you can imagine to try to expedite the process, but I think it's just a bad strain of cold that I'm gonna have to just ride out, because, um, we're on day number seven, and I still wake up every morning feeling like crap, I can't, I, I slept okay last night, but, like, my nose gets so stuffy, I, I have a hard time sleeping, um, even though my voice is back, like, I just feel whipped, and, and that's why I haven't been recording, that's why there's been no Bioshock SimCity and anything like that, um, and I, I kind of posted a couple times about it on Twitter, but I know that there are more of you than the Twitter people, so I wanted to just make an update, let you know, but I'm going to record some stuff now, so you should have some videos soon after this, on this fine Easter day, um, Noah woke up and found all of his eggs, which was awesome, and then he got some very cool stuff. He got a couple new books that he really wanted, and he got a, uh, a Bowser motorcycle, uh, like, action figure connects building thing, and I got a Mario one, and Jake got a Diddy Kong one just for that good. So I put a picture of them on Instagram. They're actually kind of fun. We were messing around having a good time. I, I don't know. I like to be... Uh, young at heart, and enjoy my brothers, and enjoy fun stuff like that, and, and that's part of the reason why I love video games, and, and still have an appreciation for, like, Nintendo games and stuff like that, it's not all, like, blood and gore, and swearing, and violence, but those are awesome, too, I love, well, not, not inherently, but games that have them are awesome, like, I'm, you know, in love with Bioshock, uh, so much, and so that's what I'm going to play right now, but, yeah, I'm doing better, I still don't feel great, um, 
I wanted to, you know, have videos starting back up Saturday morning, and I just felt, I just stayed in bed and just tried to rest. My Michigan State Spartans lost. I felt like the game wasn't ref very fairly against Duke. But that's done and over with, and now I just eagerly wait for the uh, Detroit Lions season to start. Reggie Bush and company uh, should bring some good luck to my hometown favorites. Um, and uh, I've been watching The Voice. I don't know if some of you guys watch that. I really don't watch TV at all. Like I'm not a TV person. My whole family isn't really like that. Strangely enough, I have like I own like four TVs personally, and I never watch TV. All I watch is The Voice and sports. Um, people are like, oh, you should watch The Walking Dead, you should watch Game of Thrones, you should watch Breaking Bad, you should watch la la la, and I probably should, I just never get around to it. If I have free time, I usually am recording, um, or I'm usually just hanging out with my family or people or friends or whatever, so. Um, I want to get to some of these shows, though. The Walking Dead and Game, Game of Thrones in particular, people have been recommending a lot. But anyways, I watched The Voice, as goofy as it is. I never thought I'd watch a show like that. Um, but I find the uh, the banter between the coaches, and I find like the whole actual show a little bit more legit, a little bit more... Uh, Grounded and less ridiculous than like American Idol that has like Nicki Minaj like spitting on people or whatever she does I don't even know throwing her hair around um, So I, I watch the voice if you guys watch the voice definitely let me know in the comments um, No favorites so far. I don't really like anybody from the show so far. It's kind of sad But there's still a bunch of weeks of adding people so hopefully there'll be some good people to follow along with uh, But it's cool to have Usher on there. Uh, I think he's a cool guy. So um, yeah, I'm going to record Stay in on track with getting healthy as best I can. I'm sorry I've been sick. I can't really help it. Uh, like I said, I haven't been like, sick like this in September. I'm hoping that I won't get sick like this again. Hopefully not the rest of the year, but at least until September so I can I can go hard this summer and, and the spring and all that. hope you guys that are on spring break are having a good spring break. Um, I never got to go anywhere because I've been feeling good. Noah, my youngest brother, has two weeks off because he goes to private school and stuff. So um, We haven't got to go anywhere because my dad is super sick. I am pretty sick. Jake doesn't feel so hot. My mom doesn't feel so hot. Noah's the only one really healthy, and he doesn't get to go anywhere. So, uh, I don't know. It kind of is freezing cold here. Uh, but it's warming up. It's 60 degrees today in Indiana, and that's pretty good. I'm going to get out of here so I can focus on getting to my apartment to record more Bioshock. I can't wait to play. Some people are talking about the game. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so great. Oh, my God, it gets better and better. And I am just like, no, I want to play. And I was tempted. I was so tempted to bring the game home and just, like, play while I was sick. It would be a great game to do that. I was like, no, I want them to have my first reactions. Like, I could have played the game and then, like, re-recorded it for you guys or something or done delayed commentary, but I was like, no, I want to give them the best commentary I can and give them, uh, you know, reactions that are after, or as they happen. I feel like that's the for the best, and it's, it's a tough situation. Like, I, most of you, I assume, 95% don't record yourself while you play games. So, um, it's, a, it's it takes a while to get used to, and then once you get used to it, sometimes I really do miss the act of, like, just playing a game without talking and just, like, Oh, sitting back and enjoying and not having to comment on every little thing. Like, oh, that was interesting. Oh, that was cool. And I'm not, I, I don't, like, resent it at all, but just some games I'm like, hmm, maybe I should play this one without commentary. Uh, but then, like, Bioshock is, is such a freaking love child of mine that I had to share with you. I was not going to record it. I was just going to play it, but I was like, no, we have to do this together. And it's been a blast, so I'm not not sad about that at all. Okay, so the video cut off because my phone was full, if you can believe that. I have a 64 gig iPhone 5. And it's full, and I've been deleting videos, but apparently HD videos take up a ton of space. So, um, anyways, I was saying that I'm not sad that I am recording Bioshock with commentary. I'm just sad that I haven't been able to play since I've been sick. It's like, no, oh, I want to see what happens next. And I'm like, Elizabeth, just hang tight. Stand there and wait for me. I will come back for you. I am Booker DeWitt, and I won't leave you in harm's way. Uh, and But she's been in harm's way for like four days now, so we better get there and take care of her. So, I'm going to go do that. I'm gonna go record. Um, after Bioshock Infinite, mean, there are no new games really for a long time. April is uh, has Injustice: Gods Among Us on the 16th, and The Walking No Dead uh -huh. Dead Island Riptide on the 23rd, I believe. Something like that. Anyways, those two games in the middle end half of the month. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do. I have some good ideas, and I've been just waiting to get healthy so I could sort of execute on them and uh, really prepare and plan and uh, get going. Um, there's, yeah. So, I don't know exactly what we're going to do after Bioshock, but I will we'll, we'll figure some out. It'll be a good time. Um, I'm kind of throwing this idea around of doing, like, one playthrough that I pick and one playthrough that you guys pick, and then doing, like, two episodes per day. So it's, like, a very, very good amount of content. Um, and it's, it's, it's scheduled in... in I know what to record, you guys know what to expect, and it could be, it, it should be really good, like, that's, that's one idea, you can, if you like that, let me know, um, but I'm, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna go and record and play, hope you guys are having a great Easter, hope you're having a great weekend, 
wherever you are. And until next time, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for waiting it out till I get better. I'm doing everything I can, and hopefully I'll be at full strength in a couple days here. Um, trust me, it hasn't been fun. I'm like, no, I want to do stuff because I don't feel that bad, like, mentally or, or like, that, like, exhausted. I just feel like my body is just whipped. My head is whipped. My nose, my throat. Ugh. So I'm, like, inside I have this, like, ball of energy. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then nothing wants to go. So it's, like, very, like... <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping that I can I can put those two uh, together at some point and create a masterpiece of energy, which would basically be normal health. And hopefully that will come soon, because, uh, man, this has been a sucky week. But I'm fighting back, and we'll do good. So until next time, guys and girls, thanks for watching. Fantastic to my channel. Until next time, we'll see you all later.